A tall, dark, and gorgeous stranger first appeared in the small Wisconsin town of Geno City. We would get to know the locals through his eyes, including a newspaper publisher and his three kids, a doctor and the ladies who tormented him, and a manicurist whose dream of a better life eluded her, despite her meticulous nail care. Just the ambitious beautician from the original cast of The Young and the Restless, which premiered on March 26, 1973, has been a regular on the show since then. She no longer spends her time buffing her nails and fantasizing about life in a mansion on the hill. Almost everyone in Jill Foster's extended family now lives in a mansion of their own design, or a penthouse if not that. Despite popular belief, Victor Newman did not appear in the pilot episode. Seven years into the show's existence, we still wouldn't meet the self-made millionaire. We wouldn't meet Catherine Chancellor until nearly eight months after the show's premiere, but her legacy in Geno City lives on long after she and her portrayer, Jean Cooper, have passed on. Actually, before we routinely relied on the Abbott and Newman families, Geno City was home to the middle-class Brookses and the poor Fosters. Bill Snapper Foster, who was tremendously attractive, eventually fell in love with Chris Brooks, who was ridiculously naive.